Hi, I'm John Barker, Extension Educator in Knox County. Today I'm going to talk about scouting the field for weed identification. The weed that we're going to focus on in this video is uh, pigweed. Over the last several years in our pesticide applicator training classes, we've spent a lot of time talking about how to identify pigweed, palmer amaranth, and water hemp. And we picked those three weeds because early on they're kind of similar uh, in growth and, and similar in looks. So we want to be able to identify them when they're small, because again, when they're small is when we need to be making those control decisions. So those early growth stages are, are really important to be able to identify those weeds. But we also want to show what it looks like as that plant uh, becomes more mature. So we're going to talk about both an a, a immature plant and one that's a little bit older. Okay, as I'm scouting this field today, a um, couple of things I'm looking at as, I, as I'm walking through here. And I guess my overall, my first impression as I see these weeds here that, that got my attention, um, look at those leaves. Okay, it's kind of an oval leaf shape, somewhat of a wavy leaf margin a little bit. And, and if we can zoom in on that leaf, we'll kind of see that. Uh, kind of an, you know, an oval or an egg shaped leaf, kind of widest up towards the middle of that leaf. Next, I check for hair. Hair is really an important feature that really can help us identify certain weed plants that, that we're out looking at out in the field. Okay, I check the stem, I check the leaf, um, and I, on this one, as you can see, as I rub my hands over that leaf, um, you might be able to hear on the video here how rough that sounds. Okay, and again, that roughness, that's, that's indicating hair on the back of that leaf. Next, as I pull this plant up, I kind of remove the soil to expose the roots. And as you can see on this one, we have a small but a reddish tap root, uh, not a fibrous root system, but a tap root. Again, that helps eliminate a few things for us as we're trying to identify this weed. Also, as you look at this plant and you look at the leaf structure, you can see the leaves are alternate. Okay, they're not straight across from each other, but they alternate as we move up that plant. As we zoom in on this plant, you can see all the hair. And this, this hair is an important identifying characteristic for this weed. But when we zoom in, you can see all the sparse little hairs, which gives this plant a very rough feeling on that stem. Another thing that we want to look at is the length of the petiole. You know, the, that portion of the plant between the stem and the leaf blade. And you can see on this one, it's a short petiole, okay? Certain weeds, like a palmer, have a very long petiole that's actually lo usually longer than the leaf, but this is a short, a short petiole. So we know right off the bat when we see that, that this is not palmer, uh, but it is very characteristic of a pigweed. Okay, now we're gonna look at a more mature plant, okay? And as everyone knows, when, when these plants get bigger, they start to get a seed head on them. It sure becomes a lot easier to identify them. But basically, we're going to go through the same steps with, with this mature plant as we did with, with the smaller plant earlier in the video. Okay, again, as I look at it, my eyes are naturally drawn to the top of the plant. We see what this seed head looks like. Okay, just a, a lot of densely spaced uh, spikes, and these spikes will get anywhere from two to eight inches in length. Um, and as you look down this plant, we have all these spikes beginning kind of at each juncture here between the stem and, and the next leaf structure. As you look down this plant, you'll see these densely packed kind of spikes. Usually they'll get anywhere from two to eight inches long. You know, we've got a couple here that are around two inches, but we don't, it hasn't finished growing. We don't have any of the eight inch ones on here yet, but you can kind of get the, the uh, picture of how these grow as, as this plant continues to mature. Okay, and as you look down this plant, you see we have multiple ones all the way through here. And basically at each juncture between the stem and the petiole, we see new ones starting in here as well, all the way down this plant. Okay, so we'll have a bunch of different bunch of different seed heads shooting up off of this mature plant. Okay, if you look at a leaf, a little eaten up by bugs, but you can see this is kind of more of an egg-shaped leaf. Okay, it's kind of wider in the middle. I kind of flatten it out here a little bit. This one's wider, wider in the middle, not at the base or not at the tip, but wider in the middle. That's one of the things we look at. While we have this leaf, we're also going to check it for hair. As I rub my fingers over it, both the front side and, and the back side, it feels rough, okay? That roughness is an indication that there's hair on this leaf. And while I'm looking at hair, I'm gonna do the same thing on, on the stem. As I rub my hands over the stem, again, a rough feeling, and I can feel that, I can feel that rough feeling all the way up and down here. And again, that's an indication of hair. Next, I'm gonna look at the petiole. And again, the portion of, of the plant that's between the leaf blade and the stem. And when I bend this over, you can see here that the petiole is much shorter than the leaf, okay? On a, on a palmer, that petiole would be longer up to the top or even longer. 
This one isn't, this is a short one. And that's characteristic of the leaves on this plant. All these leaves have shorter petioles or at least that are at least shorter than the leaf on, on all these leaves. That's another key identifying characteristic. And then when you look at the roots, you kind of work your way down to the bottom of this plant. Again, you see it's a tap root on here. Got a reddish color to it. Uh, that may help narrow it down some, but there's several of these that can have a reddish color on that root. Uh, but again, it is a tap root, not a fibrous root system. So when we look at when we're looking at pigweed and looking at some of the differences between it and Palmer, okay, that's that's kind of the stuff we're looking at. We're looking at the the hair, the roughness on the leaf. If I you know, I guess if we're gonna summarize this, um, we're gonna look at the hair, okay? Is it, is it smooth or is it rough on the stem? Is it smooth or rough on the leaf? Again, with the hair, okay? We're gonna look at that leaf shape. And then we're gonna also look at the seed head if you have that later in the season.